I really did hit my foot really hard, hit my toe really hard on that rock, and it got me completely out of sorts. In fact, it hurt so bad I thought I might have broken my toe, and I had a little bit of a limp for a couple of days after that. But uh, it's just interesting how one thing can kind of take you out of your game and get you out of your rhythm. And that rock that I got hung up on wasn't that big of a deal. It's just that because I, my foot was just throbbing and I was in my head, I'm thinking like, is that thing bleeding? And then next, the next thing you know, I'm stuck, I'm stuck on a rock. Um, it just amazes me how like the off-road enduro, like the, you know, the hard enduro guys, they can go through these crazy, crazy long races. And, uh, and be able to sustain a pace, and you know that they're having, you know, injuries and things happen to them, you know, during that race. Oh, shoot. Peg back there. Right about now, this part of the year, um, when this video is going to be coming out, a lot of the single track around me is going to start to get opened up. But this video was filmed at least a month before this video is coming out, and it's just tough to get some of that single track footage here in Utah uh, until it starts to really dry out. So you've seen a lot of desert stuff because that's all that we've really been riding for the last six months while we've had a ton of snow in the mountains. Yeah. Tyler blast me there with another, with another puddle. Uh, there's more puddles coming up and I was just, I was trying to keep him in the shot because uh, it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, and then we just kept coming up on these rogue puddles everywhere and I just kept getting pelted. Um, but uh, as I was saying before, these videos come out um, a lot of times it's a month, month and a half after the ride has actually happened. It just kind of depends what I've got in the pipe as far as what what product reviews that I'm doing. Um, and I, I try to be working ahead of myself, you know, a month, a month and a half. Uh, and, and that way it ensures that, you know, when I go on family vacations or things like that, you know, that I've got things kind of in the pipeline. And I find that if I'm always putting things in the pipe for Dirt Bike Channel, then I can put out a steady stream of stuff. And that's how I've been doing it. Um, but uh, this time, it, it had been a long time since I'd ridden any real single track.
that was definitely one of those situations where you're you're like holy crap that thing is a lot deeper and wider than i thought and at the very last second you're like you just got to gas through it and throttle out um but anyway going back with the thought i was thinking about before see those mountains up in the distance there is still a quite a bit of snow up there there's like three four feet in the mountains where we ride a lot and at least at the time that we're filming this and so we're just waiting for the single track and last weekend i actually went and did one of the lower level uh single track trails around my area that uh that i know and i was actually able to get up into the pine trees and the aspen trees and the aspen trees just have a little bit uh, of their leaves uh, at the lower levels starting to peak out and it was beautiful and then i got up into the pine trees and i could smell that pine and oh man there is just nothing like that pine smell and being up there in a little bit damp conditions conditions it wasn't wet i'm not the guy that likes to go riding where it's muddy uh, and create just a bunch of big ruts for everybody i like to you know take care of the trails and and, uh, and take care of our resources and things but it was so fun to get up there in the pines i keep getting glass oh I keep getting plastered. That is totally 100% my own fault. I knew that we had a ton of puddles there and I just wanted to try to keep Tyler in the shot. But going back to the pines and aspen trees, I know that a ton of you guys are wanting more of the, you know, trees and the real single track coming up on the channel. And I'm going to be doing that. I've got a, uh, a beta. 300 rr that i should be testing i've got a sherco um 300 ser coming you know so i've got a couple of two strokes coming up and we'll see maybe we can even squeeze another four stroke in here i'm not exactly sure we'll just kind of have to see uh, at the time of this filming i'm you know we're on pins and needles trying to wait for our fourth baby uh to to arrive and it's been busy i mean there's a lot of stuff going on at work and there's a lot of stuff going on at home and uh, trying to fit this all in with Dirt Bike Channel as well. And there will be a lot of uh, real cool single track coming. So stick with us, guys. Thanks so much.